Hi friends, got another package in the mail today. <clears throat> Actually, it was UPS. Just in time for product review Wednesday. Uh -huh. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Watt cycle, user manual for the WTM03 series current battery capacity display counter. We have here a 500 amp shunt. We have here a display that'll be inside the RV one of the wires to hook it up that'll go from one of those terminals to the batteries and a connection communication cable six meters of shielded wire That'll plug into that little port right there. Got some screws to attach this if necessary. Anyway, this is from the same company that sent me the three batteries that I've been using for the last month and a half in my RV. Let me show you, watt cycle batteries. I've been using these watt cycle batteries for, um, well, since the, about the 5th of January. So that's a couple of months. And uh, they've been working fine. I have solar on the roof <clears throat> that charges them. Uh, here they are. These are the minis, the watt cycle mini batteries. They're a group 24 size, so... I got 300 amp hours sitting in that box there. I could use some more amp hours, but uh, 300 has been doing me fine. I have to be careful only having 300 with a rig this size and a convection microwave and so on. But hey, uh, I've got a 3000 watt inverter and um, they do the job. What else can I say? You'll notice I already have a shunt in there. I've had this shunt and I had it a long time ago when I had uh, AGMs. I've even had it since I had old lead acid golf cart batteries. And these are the wires that go inside to the monitor. The deficiency here, and the reason that I was interested in replacing it isn't a deficiency in the shunt, it's in the monitor itself. The new shunt is prettier. And the communication cable is plug and play. It won't be a jumble of wires, but that's not the point. The point is the monitor. The one I have will tell me a graph for what's left in the battery. And anyway, lots more information out of this one. I'll hook it all up and show you how it works. Hooking the red positive wire in there uh, you need a jeweler screwdriver. It'd be nice if they included one. I happen to have one, but it's the same size screw that, you know, tighten up the screws in your eyeglasses. Uh, the, it's either a solid wire or the end that stuck in there was soldered. I thought that was nice of them because it took a little pressure to push it in there. Anyway... Back to putting it where it goes. The communication wire was easy. It's truly plug and play. Got it all hooked up nice and neat. Much neater installation than the old one. I had to make this special uh, bar here. Um, I didn't have to, but you needed a connection from here to there, and I didn't have an extra cable. Plus, I wanted to use a real heavy one because... This is battery to battery. This is three batteries to an inverter, so um, needed a heavy thing there. Now that's steel, and that's brass. 
and uh, don't leave me any comments about dissimilar metals creating electrolysis. I understand the problem. I'll check on it. Here we go. Old breath. We have numbers. 13.3 volts. I'll have to program it. Tell it how many batteries I have and how many amp hours I have. And then it needs to cycle so that it knows when it's empty and when it's full. And of course the other thing I have to do is run the wire through that chase I have there up to the bedroom. I'll get it programmed and we'll see how it really works. Well, here's another big scary test. Turning the electricity back on. Nothing blew up. Good. Good morning. I got the parameters set on the watt cycle battery capacity tester. Let me show you. My three group 24 small size 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries hooked up to give me 300 amp hours at 12 volts. Got the shunt all installed. So you can see we have the battery capacity set at 300. It's showing that my um, charge is 100%. My solar is still pumping voltage into it. It's a 14.3. The 0 0.78, uh, 1.34, 1.25, that's how many extra amps I'm getting over the 50. 15.3 watts changing all the time uh, that I'm using, which is just there's a light on inside. I'm going to go and start something that takes some power and see if that all changes. On the electric coffee pot, it's taken 654 watts. Uh, I have my deficit of 43 amps. All seems to be working fine. I've been using the watt cycle batteries now for a couple of months. Uh, we we're boondocking all except for uh, about a week plugged in somewhere. And uh, they're performing flawlessly. I still have to run the cable up for the monitor. I'm gonna put it up there in my bedroom. I'll uh, get back to you when I do that, but hey, it's all working fine. I got it installed in my bedroom and I'm running the microwave to heat up some soup for lunch. It's taken 95 amps, 1.2 kilowatts. Uh, it says I can run that microwave for three hours. It's still 100% capacity. And I'm still getting some solar because I got 1.2 kilowatts I'm using and I'm only taking out 94, which is, I'm getting 300 watts off of my solar. There, <clears throat> the microwave quit. Now I'm getting 47 amps off of my solar. Still taking 631 watts. Where's that going? Uh, oh, I think my refrigerator kicked in. Anyway, I'm real happy with that. You can program the backlight. When it's flashing like that, it means it's charging. And of course, it's in my bedroom, so rather than program it to be off, I'm just going to close the door. As always, links below. 
Use the code JCTS, that's JC Travel Stories, JCTS for 6% off of anything store-wide at wattcycle.com. They have all different sizes of lithium batteries, solar charge controllers, battery chargers. Check it out. Wattcycle.com. I'm sold. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.